Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about frequency separation and different things you can do with it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use this picture of the ducks and we're going to add these ripples to it. So to get it ready we need to take this picture and click on filters up here at the top and frequency separation. And then adjust it to however you like. We're going to go about, I don't know, about six, six and a half pixels and click apply. And then it will separate the layers stuff from high to low. So make sure the high frequency layer is selected and click control C to copy it. And then go back over to the picture of the ducks and control V will paste it on. And see, all we've taken is the layer, the information, the texture. We didn't take any of the color or anything else. And so it makes this nice easy little see-through layer. And we're just going to put it on our ducks. And we're going to use a mask over here, this little square mask layer. And with the mask selected, click B to get your brush tool. Make sure you've got black paint. And a smaller brush will work better. We're going to just brush the ripples off of these ducks, just like that. You can get closer and get good if you want. Anyway, that, and that's that. And sometimes, some in certain pictures, the lines of the high frequency layer will show up, and you can sort of see them here. So to make them really visible so that we can see them, we're going to just click on difference. That works. And then click on our mask again. And then I, I like to just kind of go around the edges. Just, you know, with a big soft brush just to get rid of that hard line. I don't like it. Sometimes you can actually see it in certain photos. And it's not big enough. Let's make it bigger. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't matter, so it's just up to you. I'm just going to go right around the ripples here. And then we'll click on the mask or the high frequency layer again, the ripples, and put it back on linear light. And that is one use, so we'll get rid of the ducks and the ripples. I don't need those anymore. And our next picture we're going to use is this picture. And I'm just going to add some more texture into the picture using the same method. So the first one we're going to use is grass. We're going to do the frequency separation again and just you know, bump it up to whatever you want. Somewhere in the middle usually works. And click apply and then we're going to take that layer control C for copying it go back to our picture and control V paste it and it actually it's really huge so you can shrink it leave it whatever you want to do I'm just gonna leave it in this case and once again I'm going to make a mask over here click mask layer make sure the brush tool is selected with black paint and we're going to just brush these away. Brush the grass off of her. And you can change this layer. I'm actually going to rename it so it doesn't get confusing in a minute. And you can change the blend mode. It starts off as linear light, but sometimes I like overlay, sometimes soft light. Soft light kind of makes it disappear this, this time. Over, overlay is good. As you can still see the texture, but it's just sort of in the background. So, we're going to get rid of our grass layer. We don't need that anymore. And we're going to use this cookie layer. I've already done the separation on the cookie layer. So I just need to make sure that the high frequency layer is highlighted and click Control C to copy it and Control V paste it right on our picture. And it made a big giant layer. Let's see, just took the texture. So, once again, we're going to make a mask to brush it off of her. With our brush tool, 
with black paint and brush this mask off. I'm sorry, brush the cookies off. <laughs> All right. And you can just sort of see how they stack together. If you play around with them, turn them on and off. That's without the grass, that's with the grass. You can lower the opacity, make it blend a little better if you like, or change the blend mode. Uh, we'll do overlay again. Well, that's it. That's just a, a quick, easy way to just add some texture to any picture. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. I just wanted to show you over here. So I'm going to click Control V just to paste on our cookie layer. And, and then we're going to change the blend mode here to overlay. And it just makes a nice sort of subtle texture. So if you wanted to put some words or something. And that's just a nice way to make it kind of stand out a little more instead of just plain. It just gives it a nice subtle texture. All right, I hope that was helpful. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.